the Galenic Laboratory of Arma Pharma is based in France and more precisely in Main Rock. It was established in 2020 specifically to provide technical support and to offer formulation help to all our clients worldwide. This laboratory enables the development and tailoring of Arma Pharma pharmaceutical grade lactose products to meet the specific needs of our customers and partners. The laboratory is set up with state-of-the-art equipment. It can perform compaction studies and all tests on tablets according to required pharmacopoeial standards. Blending Powder blending is an important step in formulation development as it ensures homogeneity and accurate dosing. Lactose and other excipients are mixed in a turbola blender to homogenize and lubricate the formulation. The turbola is a low shear blender with a 3D movement. The mixing process is gentle. Parameters such as speed, time and filling volume can be varied to investigate optimal blending parameters. Compaction After blending, the powder formulation is compacted into tablets using the single-punch R&D press Style 1 Nano. This press is fully instrumented and can mimic the compression cycle of a rotary tablet press. A compression cycle can be divided into four stages. Particle rearrangement. The powder is densified because of reduced pore volume. Compression. Particles are deformed at points of contact with other particles, the dye or the punch surfaces. Cohesion is created by the deformation of the particles. Decompression. The punches retract. Ejection. The lower punch pushes the tablet out of the dye. The aim is to study the influence of process parameters such as compression force and compression speed on the properties of a formulation. The press is entirely controlled by a software allowing automatic data transfer. It also is integrated with all the other equipment to obtain a full set of data of each compaction test. Tablet breaking force. Once the tablet is produced, the tablet dimensions and breaking force are measured using a hardness tester. The aim of this test is to determine the force required to break the tablet. This will help to characterize the compaction properties of each formulation. The measurement is performed on series of 10 tablets. An analytical scale determines the weight uniformity. All data are finally presented in graphs to show the manufacturability profile, tabletability profile and others. The tabletability profile considers the dimension of the tablet such as size, thickness and weight. Disintegration time. This test determines whether tablets or capsules disintegrate in a liquid medium within the time prescribed in the pharmacopoeia. Tablets are placed in each of the six tubes of the basket. Discs are placed on top of each. It is then raised and lowered at a constant frequency into a 1 liter beaker of water or acid at 37 degrees Celsius plus minus 2 degree, which is like the human body temperature. The time is recorded when the dosage units have completely disintegrated. The equipment is in full compliance with pharmacopoeia specifications to facilitate exchange of data with our customers and other laboratories. Friability. This method is important to estimate the resistance of tablets during conditioning, coating and transport. The test consists of repeatedly dropping a sample of tablets over a fixed time using a rotating drum. Again, procedure and equipment used are fully in line with pharmacopoeial specifications. Friability is an important quality aspect of tablets, which is used in our research of new products. The lower the friability of tablets, the better. Arma Pharma offers an extensive choice of technologies to tailor lactose excipients to your individual needs and to overcome your formulation challenges. Whatever your requirements are, the Arma Pharma team can deliver a full range of solutions. Simply tell us how you would like your lactose.